This is Before the Tip-Off, brought to you by DeKalb Pfizer Genetics and the nearly 700 Indiana DeKalb Pfizer dealers supplying Hoosier farmers with a full line of quality, high-yielding seed products. And John Deere and your local John Deere dealer, who invite you to stop by and see the new economically priced R-Series riding mowers. Nothing runs like a deer. Hello, everybody. Greetings from the beautiful Market Square Arena, Indianapolis, Indiana. It's time for the 1984 High School Boys State Championship basketball game. And what a dandy way have lined up for you tonight. Tip off at 8.05. Our preview time is now to get you acquainted with some of the players, the teams that will be involved in tonight's championship game. The Warsaw Tigers have never won this championship. They've never played for the championship in the final game. They're in it. They won this afternoon. Also, a very quick and talented Vincennes basketball team. They won in 1923, repeated just three years ago in 1981. So there's the matchup for tonight's basketball championship game. It is Vincennes in the upper bracket, the home team, the Warsaw Tigers, in the lower bracket, and they are the visiting team here tonight. I'm Hilliard Gates and Joe Sexton, basketball coach of Butler University's Bulldogs, expert commentator, a former Crestor Award winner of this great tournament, star at Purdue University, and also at Indianapolis Tech as our color commentator. He's joined us down on the floor. Joe, we have a great matchup. We certainly do. We have the quickness of that Vincennes team and the overall team strength. You know, this afternoon, Hilliard, all five starters for the uh, Vincennes uh, analysis while they uh, were in double figures. And that's what they have going for them. And of course, uh, Coach Miller, Gene Miller said that defense is what got them here and that's what's brought them to the championship game. But they have some awfully tough competition. But Marty Lehman, the big fella from Warsaw, and Jeff Gross, who played so well today. And I have a particular liking for uh, Rob Randalls, who just seems to be the guy that does the blue collar work, the dirty work, and he'll beat you from the outside as well as the inside. Underrated basketball player. It'll be Vincennes' defense against Warsaw's rebounding and perhaps their offense. I don't think there's any question that the defense of Vincennes is a big key, as, as well as, I should say, there were only seven turnovers for Vincennes this afternoon. And, and when you come into a game as important as this one in the afternoon, well then, uh, and only have seven, that's what they need to do tonight as well. All right, Joe, we want to remind the fans that Warsaw hit 16 out of 17 free throws this afternoon. Well, we'll be looking forward to your commentary a little bit later on tonight, and we'll be back with more in just a moment. What we've got here is one heck of a good corn crop. It's always too early to start counting the cash. <laughs> you know that. Because there's a lot of things that have to go right between now and harvest. But it sure helps to know this T1100 is as good a corn as you are a corn grower. You want good yields this fall? You gotta start this spring with T1100. <laughs> I am. When it comes to lawnmowers, there are some people who will pass up a John Deere for a bargain brand. Sure, they'll save a little money, but they won't have John Deere features like deep die-cast aluminum decks and single lever height adjustment. But until the day their mower needs service, they won't know they're missing the most important feature of all, a John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. and the brilliant Dean Tolbert had 15. We pick up the action. It's in the second period. 2.35 to play. The score tied at 27. 
Blake Zippel has the basketball again. And just as quickly as they began the ball game, they kick it back up court. They drop it inside to Kukas. Basket foul counter will it not. We'll wait for the call. He's going to give it to him, yes, I think. Is. Yes. We used to call that the continuation play, right? That's a uh, continuation. You're, anytime you're in a pro league town, <laughs> you get that call. <laughs> now with half a dozen points. And it's a two-point lead for Lake Central. <laughs> Strong effort on the offensive board that time. Turned in by number 52, Charlie Wagner. But when he came down with the basketball, he simply had too many white shirts around him. One of which stripped it out of bounds. Well, that was Mark Saris, and it was a great play by Mark. To avoid the personal foul, if nothing else, I Got a hurry. They do. Tim Swan's been a little quiet since early in the uh, first quarter there, Jerry. Matter of fact, he has not scored in this period, Joe, and he had seven in the first quarter. That's Hobson. Randy's second bucket, fourth point. He hasn't handled the ball much in this game either. When he gets it, Hilliard, he's been down in a corner position where he couldn't do much with it. That's the first time he's really been out of the top of the circle. 120 to play in the half. Underneath, and a foul again. And all of a sudden... Lake Central has gone ice cold in that free throw line. They missed their last three in succession. They're three out of five this period. Four out of seven in the ball game. High ball game at 29 with a minute two to play in the first half. Coach Miller's wanting one shot, I believe. There it is. There it is. <laughs> he got it, too, didn't he? That's play number one. Give it to Swan in the corner. Two-point lead now. Vincennes out in front. They've been ahead by four. They have trailed by four. Ball game has been tied seven times. Then it's tied again. Cook is now with eight points in a tie ball game at 31. All Big 8 Conference player this year, Tim Swan. 15 points in the semi-state. And for Tim, his 10th point of the day. Two out of two from the line, 76%. Free throw shooter leads the club in scoring at 14 per game and has 156 rebounds to lead the analysis of that category also. So he has the first two points for Vincent here in the second half. There is the steal and two points for Paul Hendrickson on the inbounds pass and the lead goes to four just like that. The Vincent's fans begin to believe they've got the trip back here to Market Square tonight. Gene Miller is applauding too. He believes he's going to be here tonight. 62 I to too. 54. I, I got a suspicion <laughs> they're both right. It is by Sulik. Many substitutions now. John Wallace is in for Lake Central. David Ainley, two seconds, one. It's off the mark, and the ball game is over. And Ben Sins has pulled off the victory by a final score of 64 to 56. The man who engineered his basketball victory this afternoon is Gene Miller of Vincennes, the Alice's great coach. He's only 30 years of age, and he's having a great time here. Gene, again, congratulations on that great victory. Our fans have just seen some of the highlights. Well, thank you, Hilliard. Uh, our kids played very well, and I am enjoying it here. It's, uh, it's been a great season. It's been a, a great tournament, and I'm just looking forward to tonight's ball game. Randy Hobson did a great job on Milan Petrovic this afternoon. Will you do the same thing to Jeff Gross? Well, we'll try to do the same thing. Randy Hobson is a, a very competitive t individual, works very hard. Uh, you know, he's just a tremendous asset to our basketball team. And, and uh, he'll give it everything he's got tonight, I guarantee it, Hillier. You told me this afternoon you had balance and you played defense. I couldn't agree with you more after what I saw this afternoon. Well, that's how we got here. Uh, you know, we had all five people in double figures this afternoon. Uh, played very tough defensively, and that's what we're going to have to do again tonight because the Warsaw is a very fine basketball team. They've got three outstanding basketball players. You know, when you look at them, they got Lehman, who's uh, definitely going to be a Mr. Uh, basketball candidate this year and definitely going to be an all-star player. Right. And then you got Gross, who's probably got to be a Mr. Basketball candidate next year. So uh, they got some fine players, and uh, we're just going to have to come out and play well. Well, uh, been great working with you this weekend. Best wishes to you. Have a good ball game. Well, thank you, Hilliard. And I know our kids, uh, they'll come out and they'll give it everything they got. And if Warsaw beats us, they're going to have to have a one heck of a ball game. I'm looking forward to a great ball game. Uh, thank you, Hilliard. Gene Miller, the coach of Vincennes, will be back with more highlights and interviews following these messages. Hi, 
I sure get a kick out of watching folks slow down to eyeball this field of soybeans. Like most DeKalb Pfizer genetics dealers, I like to show off my best beans. You know, where the neighbors can get a good look at them. You get really good beans by starting with DeKalb Pfizer seed. Then you know you got high quality seed that yields as good as it looks. Try them. And uh, put them out by the road, just like I am. And like the first game this morning, Warsaw came from behind to beat Newcastle 78 to 74. They had great scoring from their front line. Jeff Gross with 22, Marty Lehman with 23 points, and Rob Randles with 19. Let's a pick up action in the third period of that game, 442 to play, and the game deadlocked at 39. Here it is. Another good effort by Marty Lehman. Lehman has come out like a stormtrooper here in the second and a half. He's got six points, 17 of the game. Now they're getting inside of that 2-3 zone. And if they do that, Newcastle's in trouble. But Jarvis gets it back at the other end. And for Todd, that's 12. Tie ball game, 41. It was 16-14 Newcastle after one. Tied at 33 at halftime. We're tied at 41 right now. Not anymore, though. Because Jeff Gross, as Joe suggested, who has to get back into the ball game, picks up his 14th point of the afternoon, an average of 21-7. Whistle reaching in from behind on Lundy. The foul is on Steve Holler. That'll be two on him, third against the ball club. No shots involved, so just to our immediate left here at courtside at Market Square, Todd Jarvis will inbound. Jarvis with 45 points and 13 rebounds. He and Brad Phelps, who will come off the bench, are the co-captains of this ball club. Three and a half minutes to play, third quarter. 43-41, Warsaw by two. And we're tied again with Troy Burgess, a six point. Troy's pretty hot. He ought to test the waters a little more right now, I think. See if he just is uh, blazing. He might not miss any. Yep. Gross. Hey, what? Gross is not doing too bad himself. He has 16. What did he shoot in the first half here, Joe? Gross shot, uh, well, only 5 out of 10. Not quite as good as we had anticipated, but not bad. Open man on the near side is Jarvis. Now you can see why these teams got here. They're giving that ball to their, their main man. They never fail to do it. No selfishness whatsoever in either of these clubs. You see the tie. That's the 12th time it has been tied. With two and a half minutes to play here in the third quarter. Reaching in foul. Almost a good defensive play again by Burgess. That'll be two on, on Troy. And now Warsaw could get its biggest lead of the game again. They've led by four one other time this period. They've been behind by six. That was in the first half. Tied at halftime at 33. Layman. Oh, he's doing it all right now. 19 points for Marty. Looks like Warsaw and Vincent for the state title. Vincent has won it twice. Back in history, Warsaw has yet to hang a championship banner, though the girls have put a couple of them up there. It's an eight-point lead with 19 seconds to play. Jarvis gets almost an uncontested layup. He's got 26 points.
is going to be over. The layup will count by Jarvis, who finishes up with 28 points. But the ball game is history. As the Warsaw Tigers pick up their 25th win of the year against only two defeats and play for the state championship after beating Newcastle. Final score, 78-74. Thank you, Jerry Baker. Al Rhodes coaches Warsaw, was here in 1981, was defeated in the afternoon game. This is the furthest any Warsaw team has ever gotten in this state championship. Al, congratulations. I noticed you've been watching your team warm up very intently. Uh, yes. What are you looking for? We're just looking at the legs, make sure they're using their legs in their jump shooting. You know, it takes extra concentration in a second ball game in one day. Al, Vincennes is quick. You're much bigger. You have some speed on your front line and in the backcourt, too. It's going to be a matchup, though, with their good defense in your ball club. Yes, it'll be an excellent situation. If we handle their full court pressure and rebound with them, we'll be in good shape. You expect them to pick you up all over the floor? Uh, yes, we do. No, no question about it? No. Okay, Al, I know that you're delighted to be here. Best wishes. You've got a marvelous a group of young men, and I congratulate you. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, Al Rhodes, the coach of the Warsaw Tigers. He wants to take his team into the dressing room a little bit earlier than uh, normal, and he'll be uh, back out here in just a few moments. We'll be back, too, with more after these messages. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the best you can do is settle for second best? <laughs> Now you won't have to with the new R-Series riding mower from John Deere. You see, they don't cost more than ordinary riders, but they're built with extraordinary features and first-class John Deere quality. So now, for the price of someone else's mower, you can have one of ours. Farming is a tough way to make a living. Most farmers are in a struggle just to survive. I know I sure am. So when I come asking you to plant DeKalb Pfizer genetic seed, you better believe it'll be the same seed that's done the job on my own farm. It's my job to know what kind of seed you need. Not because I'm a seed dealer, because I'm a farmer like you. Who's in the struggle with you? I am. That's our preview at Market Square Arena in Indianapolis, Indiana. It'll be Warsaw against Vincennes, the Tigers against the Alices. Hope you enjoyed our preview. Stay tuned. Tip-off time will be 8.05. Jerry Baker will be back with more on tonight's basketball championship game in a few moments. You've been watching Before the Tip-Off, brought to you by DeKalb Pfizer Genetics and the nearly 700 Indiana DeKalb Pfizer dealers supplying Hoosier farmers with a full line of quality high-yielding seed products. And John Deere and your local John Deere dealer who invite you to stop by and see the new economically priced R-Series riding mowers. Nothing runs like a deer.